we are all aware that the majority of the educational system is archaic. The value of a degree has diminished over time, but why exactly? Welcome to a brand new Money Fellas video everyone. We walk you through the 10 skills you didn't learn in school in this video. 1. Although many people are intelligent, they rarely use their knowledge in real life. Despite the fact that you are aware of how some things should work, you are not. Theoretically, if you've just finished college, you don't have any practice or experience. The interviewer will laugh in your face and reject your application for an internship that requires 10 years of experience if you claim to have 4 years of college experience. If anything, it's superficial, and you'll have to figure out how to get things done on your own in the real world. 2. Because they are taught to follow directions at school, many individuals are prone to conflict. Because you think it would be pointless to try to reach a better deal for you and others, you don't learn how to negotiate. You think that only seasoned sellers engage in such ambiguous transactions. Your uneasiness with dealing with challenges develops into worry over confrontations, which eventually get worse in terms of intensity and justice. 3. Your contacts, time, and energy are just a few of the many resources you have at your disposal. How are these assets managed? The better you are at managing these resources, the more likely you are to achieve your ideal dream life. You would think that a skill this important would be necessary in any kind of school, but up to this point, we haven't seen it happen anywhere. 4. Only one success is required. Additionally, they argue that giving up makes you a loser. You pay the price for your choice to reject something. Contrary to popular belief, you are not obligated to do anything, and they could even force you to waste a whole year of your life. Put a book aside if you start reading it and realize midway through that the writing is subpar. Likewise, if you start a project but later realize you are unable to complete it, put it on hold. It's not fully true that winners never quit. The majority of winners give up. You are free to stop playing the game as frequently as you like as long as you do so. 5. In the history of school projects, there has never been a circumstance when everyone contributed equally. Typically, someone did 75% of the work and the last 25% just paid them off. In addition, if you were caught cheating on an exam, you were automatically failed. This contrasts with how life truly works. The world functions as a result of people coming together to create something greater than themselves. The basis for our whole species' existence is people grouping together in tribes and cooperating for food and protection. Why this talent is not taught in schools but is instead punished is beyond our comprehension. Six. There are several ways to express the same idea and numerous methods to achieve the same outcome, but school teaches you that there is only one way, and that way is precisely as the instructor stated it. If you say anything different, you are wrong even if you are right, which prevents any form of critical thought. Of course, this is incorrect. There are a number of options that might finally lead to a solution. Rome is accessible from a variety of routes. Another piece of advice is to understand how to support this strongly. It shouldn't spark a debate. 7. You must pay your set costs in order to survive in today's environment. Taxes, inflation, credit, retirement plans, bureaucracy, and other factors are examples of this. You will be expelled from the life plan if you don't figure out how to handle it. It's a really crucial talent to possess, yet schools don't teach it. You will need to educate yourself on your own. That much is true. Our argument is that these topics aren't frequently covered in the classroom, despite the fact that we aren't doctors and aren't here to give medical advice. You never receive instruction on how to deal with anxiety or any other problem that has a negative influence on your behavior or emotions. As you become older, you start to see these problems as inescapable parts of life. However, just because a problem occurs frequently does not mean that it is inevitable. While certain illnesses may be treated without medication, some problems can never be handled without it. 8. The foundation of a classroom is authority and submission. You sit where you're ordered to and carry out the instructions. But how can you maintain your position? You don't really have a lot of influence. You learn to blend in and keep your head down, which later on translates to waiting for instructions from others. 9. In general. The school is conducted simply and properly. It is designed to appeal to as many people as possible. Everyone who shows up is given a participation prize. 
when real life comes with all its turbulence and unpredictability, leaving you feeling a little lost. There is no bell to ring when it's time to take a break. 10. Really, numbers aren't that significant. It is an arbitrary filter with no practical application. When you leave school and enter the working world, suddenly no one is concerned about your grades. You are instructed to build your life around a concept that is useless outside of the classroom. By giving you hazy job alternatives, school limits your options. If you can amuse others and tell wonderful stories, you are not learning how to hone your craft and forge your own path. You could feel out of place when you attempt anything new since school drives you to have a conventional future, but you should still give it a shot. That brings us to the end of the video. We hope you learned something valuable here today. Guys, what other skills would you like to learn in school? Let us know in the comments. Don't forget to like, subscribe and share this video. Till a new video.